Keep watching Charis TV. Where's your husband? Huh? Mama, you're, you're not well. Satan is attacking you. Your husband is well in free state? Yes. Huh? Yes. You're, you're sick. There's a spirit that is making you sick. Yes. You hear me? So we need to pray for you. Okay, amen. And we also need to pray for your house. All right. And I'm sure you people, you need to, you need to pray also. Because these are challenges that I'm seeing. Amen. So I'm sure God will help you. Amen. But now you need healing. Amen. In Jesus' name. Jesus, my name. I greet you all in the wonderful name of our Lord Jesus Christ, viewers all over the world. Welcome to Charis Missionary Church. This is our Sunday live service and uh, the leadership of Apostle JB and Prophetess T. Imakananesa. And with me here today is my sister who was located during the service by Prophet Andres Simono, who ministered upon her life. Ma'am, please tell us your name and tell us where you come from. My name is Alina Makwela. I'm from Limpopo. Today during the service, Prophet Andres located you and he spoke upon your life. I'd love that you kindly please tell us what he said to you and please confirm it. He firstly started asking where is my husband and I said my husband is working in the free state. So he said there's a sickness in me which I'm aware of. I've got a back pain, I've got abdominal pains which I've developed since I moved to Limpopo because I was staying here in Gauteng. I moved to Limpopo this year. So I confirm the sickness to be true. Yes. And how long have you been experiencing this sickness and how has it affected you? It has affected my life because sometimes I will sit the whole day not doing anything. I'm a very eff effective person. I used to work, I used to stand up and do all chores in the house. But sometimes I was just lay on the sofa and not doing anything. I was just surprised, is this me or is there something else problem with me? Then today I thank God because he has allocated me and I believe that I am free Amen. and I'm healed in Jesus name. I thank God for my life and I thank God for the life of the prophet who has allocated me. We will allow God to use him on a daily basis to help us. The brother the, of the issue of the land, you, yes brother. Brother, Amen. I, want, I want to pray for you. Amen. I'm seeing this land and I'm hearing God say he wants to give you money. Amen. And this property that you're going to build here is for business. Amen. Right now the land is there but there's no money to build. Yes, true. You hear me? Yes. So I'll pray for you. Whether people like it or not, you will be number one. Amen. You know, there's one thing that people must know. There's a choice of God. Amen. Whether people like it or not. So now, as I'm praying for you, this land is Pretoria site. Yes, it's huh? in Pretoria. Yes. Pretoria site, this land. I'll pray for you. God will give you money. You are going to build something there. Amen. In Jesus' name. Oh, Jesus. Sir, can you please tell us your name and tell us where you come from? My name is Tabang. I'm coming from Midrand. Today during the service, Prophet Andres located you and he ministered upon your life. I'd love that you kindly please tell us in details what he said to you and please confirm it. Uh, Prophet Andres prophesied me about the land that I'm having in Pretoria. Uh, he mentioned that um, I want to build uh, rooms for business. Uh, which is true. That's the plan that I'm on right now. Yes. And how long have you been trusting in God um, for finances to begin this project? Uh, it's been 
actually I can say maybe two years since I bought the land I've been planning to build the rooms so um, I was just waiting for the area to be developed so now because I can see uh, the area is developed there is water now there is electricity so uh, I can see now I'm ready to build so I, uh, when I check my finances I'm lacking there and there so but I trust God that I will, I will make it, yes. And how do you feel that today Prophet Andris located you and ministered upon your life regarding something that you've been desiring for the past two years? I feel so blessed because my, my, my dreams are coming to true, yes. And how would you encourage somebody who's watching this and they're trusting in God for something? Uh, what I can say to people, I'll say uh, when you receive a weight from man of God, believe in that weight and hold on. There's a lady there who's feeling heavy on the, on the chest there. Yeah, you. Mama, there's a demon sitting on your stomach. It comes up to your chest here. You're hearing me? Yes, yes, huh? prophet. Yes, prophet. You're feeling something here. Heat. Huh? Heat and short breath. Yes. God must give you more days of life. Amen. Because you're afraid now. Yes. You're confused. You don't know whether you'll die or not. Yes, prophet. Because this, your chest is congested. Yes, prophet. In Jesus' name. Come on, you demon. Dirty spirit, come out. There's a lady there who's about to get a job there. You see a lady there who's wearing something pink. Run here. Because I see an interview. Did you go to any interview? I missed two of huh? them. I missed two of them. Why did you miss them? Uh, the first one I was at home. The second one I didn't have money. Come here. Yes. I'll give you money. You go for interview. Amen. In Jesus' name. Come on. Come on. Come on. Because how can she miss interview because of money? Can you see this is an evil spirit? Huh? How can it happen? Come on. Come on. Come on, you demon. You dirty spirit, come out! Ma'am, can you please tell us your name and tell us where you come from? Uh, my name is Gamarelo, I'm from Tembisa. Today during the service, Prophet Andris located you and he spoke upon your life. I'd love that you can please tell us what he said and please confirm it. Um, Prophet Andris, he first said he sees me receiving a job and he said what happened to the interview. He said again, he see me uh, having an interview. He said to me what happened to the interview. I uh, said so the first one, uh, I was at home, I missed it, I was in Limpopo. The second one uh, that, uh, that recently came, I didn't even have money for transport, so I couldn't go. Yeah, that's what he said to me. And how has this affected you, uh, missing two interviews? Um, it wasn't well with me at all. Because having to go and search for a shop is very much difficult and to find a job it's also difficult. So for me to miss those two interviews it was just like uh, I was having sleepless nights. I couldn't even sleep, I couldn't even pray because I thought like I missed all the grace of God for me. Yeah. And how do you feel that today Prophet Andres located you regarding this and ministered upon your life? I'm happy. And now uh, I'm, I'm, I'm realizing that God is on my side, He's watching over me. Even if I miss the first one or the second one, there is still another chance for me to get another one. So I'm very much happy and excited. That lady, come here. Come here. This lady, come here. Yes. The spirit must leave you.
The spiritual husband must leave you. Come on. Come on. And I know who's doing this. Huh? Can you help me? Hey, 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 hey. Even you, you've got the same spirit. This spiritual husband. Come on. There's something here. Huh? Hmm. You, you have been given something. You hear me? Yes. Hmm. Did you go to a Sangoma before? No. Huh? No. Then why this thing here? Because this is something that is alive here in your stomach. You feel it. Yes, true. It tends here, ten, ten, ten. It's messing up your stomach. Huh? And now, it's even eating your blood now. So we need to pray for you. Jesus must save you. You hear me? Yes, true. Come on. Out! Can you please tell us your name and tell us where you come from? My name is Rautama. I come from Tembis. Prophet Andris located you and ministered upon your life. Please tell us what he said and please confirm it. Prophet Andris Lokete, I have been something And how long have you been experiencing this? I'm sure three months back. And how has it affected you? And how do you feel that today Prophet Andris located you and ministered upon your life? Amen. Amen. Thank you. Are you there? Are you there? Sister, you are supposed to be a Sangoma. You are supposed to be a Sangoma. This Come on. Take it. Stand up, sir. Where is your brother? Which one? Hmm? Which the one? The older one. Uh, the second one. Yes. Yeah. It's, it's uh, in Tembisa. He's sick, yeah. Hmm? He's very sick. I can't hear you. He, he's very sick. Yes. Mm. You know, I, I, I've got a reason why I'm asking you about your brother. Even my, my mother is you know, she's crying about yes. him, you know. Your mother will die because of him. Yeah. <laughs> you hear me? Yes. And my problem, can I tell you my problem? Mm. My problem is that the family must not go to Sangomas. The family... They must not take him to Sangomas. No, we don't believe in Sangomas. Yes, they must not do that. But you're going to see it. Who... Yes. Uh, no, we don't believe in Sangomas. I know you don't believe in that. Yeah, even my mother, she doesn't believe in that. Yes. She's a praying woman, you know. I'm telling you, the family must not take him to Sangomas. Because when it happens, you remember me. You, as a person who believes in God, you need to stand strong. Even my mother. You hear me? Yes. Yes, you need to stand strong. But there's a wind that is coming. And this wind, it will test the faith of your family. This wind <laughs> is coming. Because this man, you know, is not well, he's very sick. And now, the way he's sick, people can end up losing hope. And I see a wind that will come, no, which I've, we need to pray against. I've been telling him to come here, so... You've been telling him to come here? Yeah, so... So he doesn't want to come? No, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to force him to come here, whether he likes it or not. Whether uh, he likes it, you will force him? Yeah. God must bless you for that. Yeah, we rather fight. God must bless you. Amen.
Can I pray for you? Amen. In Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Lord, for healing his brother for the sake of his mother. In Jesus' mighty name. You're free. Kindly please tell us your name and tell us where you come from. Today, during the service, Prophet Andres located you and ministered upon your life. I'd love that you kindly please tell us in details what he said to you and that you please confirm it. Okay. Today, my, I mean, uh, Prophet uh, spoke about my, my brother who is sick. He's currently in Tembisa and he's been struggling a lot. He's been going to hospital in and out. So, uh, yeah. Uh, the problem is that he's sick and I've been trying to uh, bring him here. And then he always gives me uh, uh, some excuses, you know which I'm not happy about uh, uh, them, so, um, but uh, after what Prophet has, has said, I mean, um, I have to do something, I have to bring him here so that he can get healing, you know, yeah. And how has it affected you seeing your brother sick? <laughs> Spiritually, I mean, even at home, you know, my mother is, she's a praying woman you know uh, the problem in fact is uh, is refusing to quit alcohol last time he has been admitted to hospital and then they told him to leave uh, alcohol okay and then he recovered then after that he went back to alcohol you know so that's the problem so my mother uh, I mean, she, 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 I mean, it's, it's not well. I mean, but I believe, I believe because, because my mother is a, is, she's a, a, a praying woman, and I believe he will be healed. And then the only thing to, 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 to for us to be rel to be relieved is for him to come here. Yeah. Yeah. And how do you feel that today, Prophet Andrews located you? And minister upon your life regarding your brother's life. Yeah, uh, no, that one is very, uh, is very inspiring. Always, you know, when God speak, you know, uh, uh, you get, I mean, inspired. Lord, you don't understand. So when, uh, when, when, when God touch, when God speak, you know, I'm, I'm, I, I get blessed. I'm, I'm so glad, my sister, today.